What's going on everybody? Matthew Clancy here. Today I'm going to show you how to install Oracle EBS release 12.2 on a virtual machine. Now in order to do that we need to create a virtual machine. We need to install an OS, that's Linux. We need to prepare that Linux. We need to download the R12 zips from Oracle. We need to create a staging area, install R12, and then finally confirm the installation. Now, keep in mind that throughout this whole process, what you're going to want this whole video, what you'll notice is everything has been massively sped up. And that's in order to take what is essentially, I don't know, well, let's call it an eight hour process or something to that effect, um, down to what is essentially an 11 minute video. Now, the, the heavy lifting of this process is basically the downloading of the zips, uh, and depending on your internet, internet speed, um, that can take uh, two, three, four hours. And then, of course, depending on the type of machine you're installing it on, the, the host and the capability of that host, how long it will take in order to actually do the install. So the install can take about four hours as well once you kick it off. This is a full installation, so anything you need to dial in on, just slow the video down. Use the YouTube or other capabilities to slow the video down in order to, to dial into any particular part of it that um, you have a question about or interest in. Just simply slow it down. Oh, and by the way, be sure to, uh, be sure to share this uh, video. Um, every little bit of sharing on YouTube helps. Uh, liking doesn't hurt. And if you're interested in these types of videos, be sure to subscribe.
All right, so we have the um, Linux all set up, the machines all set up, and now it's just basically time to let sort of a six to eight hour process run through depending on the speed. I don't know, I think it was four to four to six hours um, of installation. It'll, it'll just do its thing. You come back a couple of hours later and um, you'll have a, well, you'll hopefully have a ready to roll uh, working Oracle release 12.2 instance. All right, that's it. So you can see uh, I've got all green, so that's a good thing. So you get all green check boxes. If you don't get all green check boxes, there is trouble. Um, so I will uh, test the instance. I'll, I'll bring the instance down. I'll bring it back up again. You can see the the start and stop scripts for the database and the apps. Um, one of the key things to always remember with this is never forget your WebLogic's uh, password because once you do, you're a little bit up the creek. Alrighty, so that's going to do it again. This is Matthew Clancy. I hope you enjoyed the show. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Be sure to share. Every little bit helps. Till next time.